Alright guys, we are back with some more MX versus ATV Legends. Today we've got another new update to show you. This update has some pretty good stuff in it. It has some uh, customization for the rider. It has some very light physics changes. It has some ATV improvements and some track changes, weather conditions, just a bunch of stuff. So we're going to jump into this starting with the customization first. First up, we have some rider customization to check out. We did have some a decent amount of gear added to the game. We already had Alpine Stars, but they added more Alpine Stars. They added the Super Tech Bruin Blue, the Custom, so you can choose what colors this gear is, and then the Navy Blue. But then they also added Fly. We didn't have any Fly gear in the game, um, I don't believe, but they gave us four different sets of the Evolution DST, so... Pretty cool, and then I will show you the pants to match it. The fly gear doesn't have a a color customization option, but we did get four sets, so pretty good. Um, you know, I say it every video, but usually with any update we get from MX versus ATV, we do get some form of customization added, whether that's for the bike, for the rider, whatever. So this is good. I mean, always I want to see more. Um, you can never have too much customization, but this is good. This is really good. So any customization that can be added is good. And there was a decent amount added in this new update. Moving on to the quad. The quad got some love in this update. Can you believe it? I mean, it, it kind of feels like sometimes the quad and the quad players get left behind and forgotten about um, because I feel like most of the players... Excuse me, most of the players do use the bike, but it is MX versus ATV, right? The quads need that love too. So the quad did get some of that love in this update. It had its grip and turning capabilities improved. Now, I'm probably not the best player to show off the quad and what is better about it besides telling you what the patch notes said, but it did feel better. I've used the quad a handful of times, not too much, but it didn't feel as slippery. It felt like you could control it a lot better. And the turning, I don't really know. I picked a pretty easy track here to show you. But yeah, the quad, if you're a quad guy, test it out. Let me know in the comments if it's better. And let me know in the comments what you want to see improved on the quad. Because you, you would have a better idea of what needs to be better because you use it. I don't use it. I use the bikes. But it's good to see the quads getting some love in this update. And that's exactly what happened. Turning capabilities and the grip have been improved. Now I did want to show you this even though it felt like it was a pretty minor improvement but the terrain deformation the physics have been improved especially over longer races so um, I don't really know because most of the time I don't do long races and most of the time when I record I prefer to have a smooth track just because it's easier to get a good clean lap that way so I don't really know it definitely felt a bit better but if you test this update and you do the long races or the heavy terrain deformation, let me know in the comments what you think, but in my opinion, definitely better, but pretty minor. And weather conditions have been added to all the replica outdoor national tracks. So every track that we have, you can turn on the rain. So that's pretty awesome. I don't know if that means we'll get it for every track to come yet because we have Unadilla, Bud's Creek, and Iron Man, but at least the ones we have currently and maybe the ones in the future will get the the weather conditions added to it. So pretty cool. I wanted to show you Red Bud here. Definitely felt more drag on the bike, was tougher to get over stuff, and it looks cool. So weather conditions have been added to all the replica tracks. Now for the back half of the video, we have the track changes, and I wanted to start with Spring Creek because when we watched that race, we could tell right away that this track was a bit different in real life, right, compared to what it is in the game here, and the first change we have is right here, so there was a really big, almost a wall jump where you could really send it in. That's been changed. I don't know if that double was there before. That might have been added. Um, this part has been changed a bit. This was kind of a double table. But then I believe this was a triple. But it's been turned into kind of a double table. So that's a bit different, I believe. And then 
the big change one of the big changes is right here so before this was different now it's a triple up they were doubling the 250 guys were doubling sometimes and then the triple triple and then we get to the top of mount martin and jump down now mount martin i don't believe had changes to it but it feels a bit more bouncy i felt like the bike wasn't on the ground as much as it was before but maybe that was just the way i hit it this is a bit different too so we have kind of a roller and then double into the corner and then the wall and then the jumps here towards the end of the track so there are a few changes here good changes it brings the track more in line with the the real life track which is always good and again i wanted to show you this one because it had the most changes on it right um but then we'll get to the other two tracks so this is a bit different too it was kind of a double now it's a roller this is kind of a triple and then this is a bit different too just the the way you jump over that table and then hit that wall to start back at the beginning of the track so that was spring creek here we have washugal and southwick also got changes according to the patch notes now washugal had just like one or two different changes that i noticed at the very 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 end but then southwick was i couldn't tell when we watched that race in real life i felt like the track was pretty much the way it was in the game so i'm not really sure what they did with southwick i will show you and you can let me know in the comments if you notice the the differences but um yeah i mean these were good changes mx versus atb has, has been doing a great job at you know getting the track changes out to us as fast as possible and trying to make them the way they should have or the way they were in real life so um again at for washugal here it was mostly at the end um they might have changed this section just a tiny bit after the triple but mostly at the very 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 end right so um now for the rest of the video what i kind of want to talk about because i have been seeing it a decent amount people have been saying what a boring update i don't really care this isn't whatever whatever i don't necessarily disagree i'm kind of in the middle i see where i see where and why people might be saying a boring update i mean this is good stuff this is really good stuff but sometimes it feels like they could put like the patch before and this patch together and just push it out as one one update right they it feels like they could do that but i think and i i don't want to speak for everybody i don't but i do feel like most of us are really 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 waiting on a handful of things right the throwback track pack and i did see i believe it was rainbow studios on instagram saying that there was the possibility of bringing some retro gear to the game when the throwback tracks come out so that could be that whole thing could be just insanely good right um so i think we're waiting for that we're waiting for the pro rider compound the 110s the pit bikes the audio the new sound now i don't know if we're getting that in season two but i think that's a bunch of the stuff that we're really really waiting for the replicas are great i love them i'm so glad they're in the game but they're very very similar to what they were the year before so it's not like i mean it's cool to have them but it's not like major hype major excitement over them right so let me know in the comments if i'm wrong about that but i feel like that's why some of the some people are not either disappointed or not necessarily disappointed just not super excited about some of these updates so just really curious but here we're at southwick you probably saw some of the minor changes to or you did see some of the minor changes to washugo at the very end of that track and then like i said southwick i don't know i really don't know what they did here it felt exactly the same unless it was a minor change to a corner or something or they redid a tiny bit to a jump i'm not really sure i really don't know and i'd be really curious to see so if again if you see it let me know in the comments and i'd be really curious to see what the exact change was because when i looked over the patch notes it didn't really say specifically what they did to to southwick so yeah and oh i forgot to mention the weather conditions have not only been added to the pro replica tracks but i do believe they were added to the farm rawlings farm too so pretty cool um good update but 
definitely waiting on some of that other stuff that I was mentioning in the, in the video. So let me know what you guys think. But you guys and girls are absolutely amazing. Thank you so much for the support on the channel lately. It really does mean a lot. And until the next video, take it easy.